If you're a fan of the weird, strange and true stories like me. Delivered in a story format, then you've come to the right place. I will be uploading a couple times a week. If that's of interest to you, please give the like button a click and subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications so you won't miss any of my uploads. Let's get to today's story. The Lady in Gray. In June 1861, the U.S. government opened Camp Chase in Columbus, Ohio, at 2900 Sullivan Avenue. The camp replaced a smaller facility hastily set up in Columbus City Park. Named after Ohio Governor Salmon P. Chase, the camp trained Ohio volunteers for service in the Union Army. Shortly after it opened, the camp received its first prisoner of war. Five months later, the camp held nearly 300 prisoners, most of them civilian political prisoners from Kentucky and Virginia. During the Civil War, Camp Chase served as a Confederate prison camp. Conditions became almost unbearable, and there were 2,260 deaths at the camp as a result of disease, exposure, and malnutrition. Most of these men were buried in the Camp Chase Confederate Cemetery. Given the history of the area, it is not surprising to hear stories of it being haunted, however, the spirit said to haunt the cemetery is not that of a soldier. Instead, it is a mysterious lady in grey, who often leaves flowers at two of the graves. The Lady in Grey, is purportedly an apparition that haunts Camp Chase Cemetery. She has been seen walking slowly among the graves in the cemetery. She is clearly looking for something or someone. The woman is described as young, in her late teens or early twenties, dressed entirely in grey period clothing, most often described as a grey Civil War traveling suit, and carrying a clean white handkerchief. Witnesses say that the woman always has her head down, as though weeping, and that they were overcome with sadness upon seeing her. The legend of the Lady in Grey dates back to just after the Civil War, when visitors to Camp Chase spotted the woman walking through the cemetery, trying to read the carved names on the grave markers. The young woman has been observed walking among the graves, as well as through the trees, and out of the iron cemetery gates, which are closed and locked at night. She is also often seen standing over two graves in particular, that of the unknown soldier, and the one belonging to Benjamin F. Allen. There is very little known about Benjamin Allen's time at Camp Chase or how he died. Occasionally, after the woman is spotted at these graves, flowers appear lying next to the tombstones. It is said that the woman stops at Benjamin Allen's grave because he was her fiancé. They were to be married shortly before the outbreak of the Civil War. During a Civil War reenactment that took place near the cemetery in 1988, many people reported hearing the mournful weeping of a woman. The sound continued for a minute or so but no source for it was ever found. It is believed that the sobbing came from the mysterious lady in grey. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you.